What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? It's your boy, Terry. Speaking from the garage shop again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. How you guys doing? Well, we're getting ready to put the oil pan, the Trailblazer SS, back into the Trailblazer SS. Yeah, that's right. But before I do, I just got through pop riveting the new oil pan gasket. Now, anytime you drop the oil pan, you should replace this gasket. Because before I even started this project, every now and then I would see an oil leak, like a little small oil in the ground, and it was concerning. Being that we'd gone this far, and I had to pan out, it'd be smart to change the oil pan gasket. Now this is the old gasket, as you can see, <laughs> and it's flat. This rubber piece is flat. Now on the new one, it has a rise to it on each side. I'm hoping this was the culprit, and this is the solution for my leak problem. But what we're going to talk about is we're going to do some independent testing. We're going to have some fun. So now if you've been watching my videos, and I hope you have, <laughs> you know that I installed a baffle in the pan, which will slow down the movement of the oil to the back of the pan upon hard acceleration. I took the baffle out and put oil in the pan. And we're going to do a hard tilt, and we're going to see how fast the oil moves to the back of the pan without a baffle, opposed to with the baffle. So it's gonna be fun. But first we're gonna go over the oil pan real quick and get a better idea of what we're dealing with. This is the oil pan for the Trailblazer SS. This is the front of the pan, this is the back of the pan. And these are the sides of course. So the driver's side would be here, the passenger side would be here. Now, this is where all the oil gathers. Now if you look in here, you can see that there's like a little channel, you know, about maybe two inches wide and it goes under the axle tubes. So when you accelerate, the oil will go to the back of the pan. And that's what the baffle is for. The baffle is gonna you know, kind of slow down the progression of the oil moving to the back, and that's why it bolts here. So for demonstration purposes, I got the profile of the pan so you can kind of get a better idea. If you notice, you have like a natural rake for oil to go back where this is the pan, and the pickup is right about right here, where my hand is. So this is where the oil is getting picked up from the pickup tube. All right, which is cool. It's sitting still. But when you do a hard launch demonstration, uh, you're sitting there, you're sitting there, you're waiting for the light to turn green. Light turns green, boom. You see what happened? This is gonna force the front end of the car or the truck to go upwards. So now the oil is going through that little channel under the axle tube here. All right. So now you're hitting it real hard, you're hitting it real hard, and then after a few seconds, it's gonna kinda of level back out a little bit. So now you have the momentum of the car forcing the oil to the back of the pan, away from the pump. On the normal driving, you're fine. It's only on hard acceleration like racing that you may run into some issues. So again, you have several options. You can go and get that C6 Corvette pan, and you gotta get a new pickup, and you can install it, no problem. But the only issue I see is one it's pricey you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna pay some money for it north of 300 bucks two you have two openings for the ac compressor to bolt into now if you go with that pan option the c6 corvette pan that's only really for the rear wheel drive trailblazer owners you all wheel drive trailblazer owners you got to remember right here these bolts right here that's for your front diff then you have uh, a shaft that goes through to another mechanism that bolts to the other side of the pan. That's where you can install your, your, your CV joint, which goes to your front wheels. That's what causes your front wheels to move. So for you all-wheel drive Trailblazer SS cats, this is kind of like your central nervous system, man. So the only option you really have is that baffle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some oil in this pan, and we're gonna judge how fast that oil goes to the back of the pan with the baffle and without. Let's get them moving. So what I'm gonna need is something to hold the back up. So I put oil in and I'm gonna drop it to simulate just like that, a hard acceleration. When we do independent testing, we use the most sophisticated piece of equipment here in the garage shop. Pour some oil in here. Okay, we got about four and a half quarts of oil in the pan. We're gonna remove the sophisticated piece of equipment 
and we're going to let the pan drop simulating a hard acceleration and we're going to see how far and how much is left light turns green you hit it oil kind of rushed back there really quick wow so we pop rip the baffle in and we're going to see if it takes longer for the oil to travel to the back of the pan doing the same exact test without the baffle so here we go ready Yeah, it slowed it down tremendously. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it again real quick. Here we go. Ready? Beep, beep, beep. Green light. Yeah, see, there's still oil. Yeah, it slowed it down tremendously. There you have it. Simplistic independent test at its finest. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope this answers your questions that you may have. or right, gives you a better idea how the oil transfers once it's in the pan upon hard acceleration and not so hard acceleration. So when you pick an option that's right for you, choose wisely, grasshopper. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall. Yeah, buddy. Or should I say ceiling? It's time for me to head on off. Now remember, if you like what you see here, if you like what you see here, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe so we can do more fun independent testing like this, all right? Oh, and while you're at it, Hit the bell, because that'll notify you when Coverman66, ah, Terry, puts out another video. And while you're at it, you might as well hit the likes. The like is the thumb up. So you give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And again, I want to thank all you guys, every last one of you, because like I said, if it wasn't for you, I couldn't do what I do. So there is no me without you. But it's time for me to head on off and install this pan. Well, actually, you can drain the oil and install the pan. <laughs> and uh, you'll be seeing me real soon with another fresh video. All right? So as always, as always, please be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.